This video covers the overall differences between a GE Healthcare Anesthesia Machine and a GE ICU Ventilator. I'm Lisa Nolan, Global Education Leader with GE Healthcare. The GE Anesthesia Machine and ICU Ventilator both provide air and oxygen from a wall or compressor source to patients at the desired ventilation settings and oxygen concentration. The GE Anesthesia Machine is a rebreathing system, so exhaled breaths flow back through the breathing system and are recycled through the CO2 absorber for subsequent patient breaths. The ICU ventilator is a non-rebreathing system, so exhaled breaths are always vented to the atmosphere. Anesthesia devices are designed to be fully attended and monitored devices, which requires clinicians to be in proximity of the device at all times. Alarm volume may not be adequate for the ICU. The anesthesia machines do not have the ability to generate alerts via the hospital nurse call alarm system. Anesthesia systems may contain residual amounts of anesthetic agents in the breathing system. Be sure to flush out any residual agent prior to use to prevent the risk of medication interactions. There is a risk of malignant hypothermia if the patient is susceptible to inhaled anesthetic agents. Even a small amount of agent may trigger this risk. Anesthesia machines use a circle system. Patient gas is recycled and reintroduced with fresh gas flow. To ensure adequate oxygenation and to reduce CO2 rebreathing, it is recommended that the fresh gas flow setting be set to at least 50% or more of the patient's minute volume. Since patient gases are recycled, anesthesia devices are equipped with CO2 absorbers, which have a limited useful life. Failure to change the CO2 absorber when depleted will result in an increase in inspired CO2. Elevated inspired CO2 values are an indication that the CO2 absorber canister requires replacement or refilling. Monitor and replace patient circuit filters as necessary. When using a GE Healthcare respiratory module, make sure to connect the sampling line to the sampling port proximal to the anesthesia device with respect to the heat moisture exchange filter or HMEF. When starting a case, always ensure gases are flowing. Anesthesia devices are not automatically configured to begin mechanical ventilation when a case is started. The devices are configured for both manual ventilation, often referred to as bag mode, and mechanical ventilation. When the device is in bag mode, the device is not providing any ventilation support to the patient. When the device is in manual ventilation, Maximum pressure is managed by the adjustable pressure limit, or APL valve. If ventilating the patient manually, ensure the APL pressure limit is appropriate for the patient. Mechanical ventilation begins by moving the bag to vent switch to the vent position. Ventilation will begin at the previous configured or default settings. <laughs> 